Hey everyone, I thought I'd take some time to uh, take a break from my Crusader and play with my Monk a little bit. This is, well, we're in between Season 5 and Season 6. And, well, I don't think I'll be doing Season 6, so I'm just going to stay in my non-seasonal characters and work on improving their gear, their items, their specs. Um working on their greater rifts and so this greater riff uh, this monk is an Inna and Raymond of the Thousand Storms monk so we get the six peat set for Inna in his vast expanse in his mantra and for the two set increase the passive effective mystic alley and base positive or passive effect of your mantras by a hundred percent Four set gain the base effect of all four mantras on all t at all times. Then five and then six set gain five ruined mystic alleys at all times, and your damage increased by fifty percent for each mystic alley. So, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using uh, one single uh, spirit generator and then mystic alleys. So. It's going to be, again, it's all about uh, what abilities work against what other abilities, what items you have that help to add multiplicative damage on top of whatever abilities you're using. So mostly this is just a defensive technique and focus build where my main attack is going to be this uh, crippling wave mangle. And you see they're sweeping punches that cripple and burn enemies, reducing their attack and movement speed. So this is attacking all enemies. This isn't single target. This is uh, kind of an AOE. And then there's that uh, the mangle uh, with every third hit also daces enemies within 11 yards, slowing the moving speed by 11 and attack speed by 20% for three seconds. So I think a Bane of the Trapped uh, legendary ring would go really well with this. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use that or not, but this is my main attack. This is where I'm going to be doing all my damage, and then I'll be using various different techniques, defenses, and focuses to try to build upon this, as well as using the gear items. So we have Inner Sanctuary, Forbidden Palace, so this just reduces damage when I put it down and it also increases damage the uh, adds take mystic alley so right now we have five alleys out from the uh, six set so you can see them kind of standing around we got fire air um, wind ice uh, whatever I can't uh, can't remember what the other one is lightning perhaps yeah so you have these guys out and your Miss Cali performs seven wave attacks in quick succession. He's dealing six and twenty-five cent weapon damage. It's cold and freezing enemies for three seconds, so that helps give me some survival. And then I like the water alley just because it does a ton of damage. Once you pop that ability and they get and you trigger that passive, you get one of your mystic alleys, water one, will become like a buffed alley and he does they do a ton of damage. I don't think alleys are he's or she's, but <laughs> uh, just increases the damage. Uh, dashing strike. So I use this for uh, getting back and forth between enemies. I'm also using this as a way of uh, getting out of bad situations. Um, there's also uh, the radiance use uh, gain 50% intact increase the attack speed for four seconds after using dashing strike so the idea is we have this is my main AOE damage and then I have different abilities that will increase the attack speed as I'm using them which will increase the amount of damage that I'm doing on this will also help to increase the spirit generation because you see how this uh, these gloves work now we'll look at those just a little bit. So to set the damage of spirit generated is increased by 1.5% for each point of spirit you have. When reaching maximum spirit, all damage is increased by 100%, but you no longer passively regenerate spirit. And 65 spirit is drained every second 
until you run out of spirit. So as you can see there, this is where you get the buff but you're losing spirit and then you lose your buff and you get it back. So by increasing our damage and attack speed, or just increasing our attack speed, we'll be able to regenerate spirit and keep this close to full as we can get when that buff comes up. So it's something like right now you could you could use you could be building up spirit, but you gotta wait until you get this buff, and then you want to kind of trigger these uh, attack speed uh, multipliers to increase uh, how fast you can keep your spirit up before it drains out and then resets that buff. All right, so breath of heaven. This is just a heal. Uh, it also does damage, so it's an AOE ability. Uh, there's my crippling wave. Just um, it does AOE damage and helps to uh, prevent enemies from uh, attack speed, reducing their movement speed. And then I decided to go with blinding flash. I I had tried going with something that was a spirit spender but the problem is so frequently I would find that when I run out of spirit because of this uh, Shilong spirit set that quite frequently you know I can't use a spirit spender here so this is basically a non-spirit spender but a spirit building attack speed increased generator so we can keep our spirit up once we get the buff so I decided to go into uh, Blinding Flash, Fate in the Light to give me some additional survival and increased damage for three seconds after using Blinding Flash. So something I think I'm going to need to do is need to work on increasing my cooldown reduction. There's not a lot here right now. This set is, this is like, this is what I was doing in 2.3 before uh, 2.4 came out. So this is like a couple seasons behind. I don't think that this is uh, the set that the, the top uh, Greater Rift players are using right now. But I don't have the items that they have to be able to build uh, a decent Greater Rift progression. So I am working with this and working with what I have until I start to get decent drops and able to build a set that I want. Uh, let's see on top of this so this is kind of a throwaway it was the best ring that I had just for damage it's it's I'm missing obviously I'm not getting the bastions of will effect and I should find a ring that has a you know non-set bonus that will improve uh, the damage I'm doing. Reason for choosing Pain Enhancer as you see well critical hits, hits cause the enemy to bleed for blah 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 for three seconds and then you gain blood frenzy increasing granting you three percent increased attack speed for each bleeding enemy. So again I am trying to think about different items which will buff attack speed and give me you know enough attack speed and then spirit regeneration so I can try to stay at max spirit during during the Shilong spirit buff so this is my bracers and I don't have a lot of bracers for uh, monk I have a lot of different bracers that are just generic and can be used between any different characters but I just don't have uh, bracers that are monk specific so I'm working on that. And you see spirit generators reduce your damage taken by 35% for three seconds so my spirit generators since I'm basically all the time doing damage with spirit generators this will give me survival. Uh, let's see what else do we want to show We're looking at okay so traveler's pledge endless walk so this is move up to enemy so stand still and do damage move if you have to so get some survival if you have to move to get away from ads you get some survival but that you know starts to stack up as you're moving because basically like right now I'm at 100% so if I'm damaging an enemy and I'm not moving my damage increased by 100% but as soon as I move I'm gonna lose that but I'm gonna get 
endless walking which will be damage taken is reduced in case you didn't already know that so paragon I'm just putting everything into dexterity I don't really care about movement speed at all I don't think I care about it on any of my characters and then everything else is just maxed out um, cooldown reduction doing some uh, survival here with resistance usually I would have uh, I want to put decks in there but I need more toughness more survival so I can survive because I'm going to be standing in the middle of multiple ads trying to you know rotate between survival cooldowns and uh, stun abilities while getting up you know popping my mystic alley does a ton of damage does an absolute ton of damage and dashing strikes to move in and out and buff my attack speed so I can uh, my spirit generator will generate more spirit per attack um, I think probably what I should have done is looked into uh, doing attack speed on as many items as I can possibly do that might be better than doing critical hit damage or critical hit chance um, yeah I think I'll have to rethink the way I've done this alright so skills and abilities uh, so this is based on a lot of damage you want to have as much damage as we can increased attack speed will do more damage to all the ads because I have crippling wave that's AOE area damage to add to that AOE cooldown reduction I want to get more cooldown reduction so I can put up my survival uh, skills so I can stay alive sitting in the middle of enemies because I'm not going to be standing on the outside I'm going to be in the middle of them so uh, fire damage because I have some abilities that are going to be using fire this is not fire this is cold I don't don't have any items right now that have much cold in them um, I mean there's there's some ways I could possibly re-roll some items to get some uh, better buffs on them you know going for plus to uh, you know increase damage of an element here instead of maybe critical hit chance or I could maybe go for attack speed there cyclone strike well I would much rather have a buff for either mystic alley or for crippling wave that's where a lot of my damage is going to be coming from so you see the buff here increase damage crippling wave that's pretty big deal uh, let's see yeah okay uh, we got some decent resistance survival crowd control that's decent life well again it doesn't really I mean you need a certain amount of life but there comes a point where you shouldn't be wasting too much like over a thousand life doesn't make a or yeah over over a million life doesn't make a lot of sense because you you really need I mean once you get in the higher greater rifts ads are gonna just destroy you and it's better for you to put vitality or plus life into something to increase your survival decrease damage to enemies get them down fast as possible you know when you use all your buffs to survive heal yourself and stun enemies to be able to you know apply as much damage and, and just destroy them I don't want this to be like the Crusader bombardment build where I run in I pop all my stuff I do my damage and then when my stuff is on cooldown I get out and then I spend my time running around outside of where all the ads are waiting for everything to come back up that's that's just awful I just don't want it to be that way I've seen some people running with a, a similar build to what I'm doing and who are greater rift 70 plus and some of them have a lot of life on hit um, really I think almost unless you have a hundred thousand life per hit putting you know re-rolling something like it would be here where there's one spot you could get life per hit I don't think I'm going to roll away that plus 10% damage for life you know on hit maybe on another night maybe if I were lucky and it already had this plus other decent um, you know properties then I would just leave it if I could 
yeah, I, it would be nice to have more life per hit. But again, I, I don't think that as you get into higher, greater rifts, that life per hit uh, becomes very valuable over abilities that will stun the adds, keep them crowd control, reduce damage that you take. Those, I think, are going to be so much bigger than ever having any life per anything buffs. Max the Spirit, I've also thought about the possibility of I, I think that maybe it's, it is very possible that with the Shilongs that it says 65 Spirit is drained every second. Now what you can see is happening here. Spirit regeneration after we get to 100 spent and then we get the buff from the Shilongs. You see that this goes to zero. It kind of makes me think that it's possible that no amount of spirit regeneration that I could add to my items would offset the the Shilong set. It almost like it's saying that even if I could put like get my spirit regeneration up to the 65 to to match this so that I would break even and never run out of spirit, which would be good because then I wouldn't get the buff because the buff only comes once the spirit starts to drain. See, it's 100%. Now we get the buff. Now you know we're we're keeping it up there. I don't know if once we hit that 277 that it stays up there. I think that this, this, you know, this drain of your spirit, I don't think that there's anything we can do to prevent it from happening, to keep the spirit on 100%. I'd have to look if there are any items out there that could offset that, uh, this, this part of the set. I don't think that there is. Uh, movement speed, yeah, I have some of my boots, I could care less. Uh, flying Dragon. So I did a Greater Rift 55 and I showed some of the items right before the end of the video and I had, I think I had a Fulminator here but I'm changing to the Flying Dragon because you can see double your attack speed, chance to double your attack speed. This is all about getting attack speed mul multiplicatives so we can, um, believe it or not, we can regenerate spirit while we're losing spirit and I could probably go show you that. Depth Diggers primary skills that generate resource which is this increase uh, damage 100% so we have a lot of things that are just building into making this crippling wave a ton of damage and then reduce uh, number of items need for set bonuses. I would put a Royal Ring of Grandeur in here if I had a decent one then I would pick something else like maybe Unity for survival or gosh what else could I use maybe uh, cooldown reduction convention of elements maybe was that cooldown reduction one I can never remember it Ossibian ring of zodiac maybe because I think that with 2.4 regardless of whether you're looking for a specific buff or a specific uh, property like bombardment damage for uh, crusaders plus bombardment damage most of us are looking for cooldown reduction in the area damage of some sort. It might not be the top item we're looking for, but it's maybe number three or number four item we're looking for many of our items. So I don't know, maybe I would put this into a cooldown reduction perhaps. We'll see. Again, there's, I have a lot of items. I need to work on getting better items. Probably need to rethink what I previously, um, buffed on these I think that in 2.3 cooldown reduction and and uh, area damage maybe were I don't even know if they were even a property we had or if they were even considered valuable at that time but in 2.4 they certainly were but in 2.4 I wasn't even touching this guy so when I show you this and you take a look at these things and you say oh I would do that differently I don't disagree with you I've I, I just this is my 2.3 monk and now I'm picking them up and I got to start working on some things and I've even thought about possibly t picking different weapon because I'm already getting a lot of damage increase there's got to be other weapons out there that I'll do damage increases when my spirits at 100% because this build is not a spirit spender I mean it's only a spender because of this because of 
the way this uh, loses spirit is it, spirit is drained you know once we hit a hundred percent spirit that's the only reason why that works let me see uh, see if I could show you what I mean about how when we're starting to lose spirit with that buff how we can keep damage up let me see actually you know what that's stupid sorry I'm gonna take us to see someone Magdira. Oh, we're going to do Zoltan because I'm probably going to absolutely destroy him. But we'll see. Hopefully I can demonstrate for you. Alright, cool. Okay, we're losing it. Look, we're not losing spirit. We're, we're keeping that buff up. We're not, we're not losing. Come on. All right, there we go. Now we lost it. Ah. All right, so that's what I mean when I'm saying I'm looking for attack speed. I'm looking for ways to uh, increase the amount of damage or the amount of attacks I'm doing because I can keep that spirit from draining out and I can keep that buff from dropping. So that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking, what I'm seeing. Is there a chest around here? Wasn't it? Uh, no chest. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. Uh, this has gone over 20 minutes already. So I'm gonna keep working on this. Try to push for 60 today. I think I can do it. I figure all my items, you know, with the Paragon points and everything I have, and and some of these uh, these legendary gems are very high ranks. There's no reason why all my all my uh, non-seasonal characters shouldn't be able to hit minimum 70 greater rift if not 75 and it's mostly because of the items I have or don't have and then I just gotta go out farm that stuff and start you know re re-enchanting these items I mean you see that I don't have Caldasans to spare but that's all right because I got up to greater with 70 without having Caldasans to spare on my main crusader that's doing the thorns bombardment build so I'm pretty sure that I can hit 70 on all these non-seasonal guys that I'm just starting to play with now pretty easily and I happen to uh, my other crusader that is doing the blessed shield is at 71 so that one turned out to be really good but that one also had um, some cortisons to spare on it so that's part of the reason why that that character is actually uh, higher but the rest of my guys, my wizard, my barbarian, my demon hunter, as well as this monk, they're all, I'm struggling to just get them to 60. But, you know, that all happen. Things will, as soon as I start getting drops and start re-rolling items, you'll see that I'll be able to get everyone up to 70. And then I'll have to figure out what I want to do after that, you know. I haven't really looked at what's going on in season 6. I know that the gems have a lot of changes to them, so I'm going to have to, or legendary gems, so I have to look at those. Uh, some of the set bonuses, some of the set items have been changed, perhaps to increase damage or nerf certain damage. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. I don't plan on looking at it until Blizzard makes those numbers final. Otherwise, all it is is just mental masturbation until we actually have the information. So, there we go. All right, 24 minutes. I'm out of here. Later, dudes.